Robbie, the last time you guys saw the sliders, they got to look at your best side. What do you think that they saw that they're going to try to retaliate against you guys this game? Uh, I think our pitching was really good. Durf did a stellar job, so I think we're looking to repeat something like that. And our offense was was rolling when it when it needed to be. So hopefully we can continue to you know pile together hits and uh, score some runs. And how are you yourself going to try to limit that? Um, you know, we turned like seven double plays against them, so I think we're going to try to keep the ball on the ground today and keep the ball out of the air. I know the, the ball doesn't travel well here, so even if they do get in the air, we should have a, no problem getting them out. But I think we'll just try to repeat what we did last time and have some success again. Sounds good. And in the doubleheader against the Shepherds, you guys split it. How are you guys going to keep the wins coming today? Uh, definitely just, you know, pile together hits, uh, pass the torch and uh, have some fundamental baseball, play good D and play uh, efficient offense. All right, and lastly, who do you think is going to win the home run derby today? Ooh, uh, my, bunny's, my, my money's on Vladdy for sure. Okay, for nice. Sure. I mean, not a bad pick. No, definitely. All right, thank you. You know, you just can't take a pitch off and just think, you know, ball's coming my way at any point. Um, just keep going through your mind, you know, where you're going to go with the ball when you have it and uh, just be ready, you know, when it comes to you because it will. It will find you. Yeah, it definitely did for you. And you worked a walk in the eighth and then you were thrown out at third. Do you get frustrated at all when you get thrown out in scoring position? Uh, I was I was kind of frustrated with that um, just because we hadn't seen his arm yet and it was kind of uh, just a tough read. He wasn't tested, so... Um, it was just something, you know, we didn't, we weren't prepared for, so it was kind of a bummer. But uh, yeah, that, that could have been the win, the tying run, I believe. So it's kind of a bummer in that situation. And do you think you're just going to come out of that just fine into the next game? In, in next game, we'll be okay, I think. I think, uh, you know, we'll we'll have numbers on him and we'll be ready for, for that situation. All right, awesome. Thank you. All right, Coach Robbie was thrown out at third in the eighth inning. What was that decision like having him run? Oh, 100%. I wanted him to go. I think I even told him before. I said halfway on a fly, uh, tagging on a deep fly. Uh, we had Nolan at third. I believe at, at the start, we had first and second, nobody out. Bubba Flea was up. Um, I was thinking about bunning, but the guy had walked two guys. So I was like, you know what? Just, just be patient in the zone and find something you can drive, but we're not going to bunt. So he did a good job. I believe a pass ball happened. Nolan moves to third, Robbie moves to second. I'm like, all right, second and third, nobody out, two strides, we're cooking. Bubba Flea hits one a pretty good size left center, right? Pretty good drive. I did not know the left fielder uh, had a cannon. So, you know, they didn't take pregame. They just showed up uh, drinking coffee and hitting the cage right, right before game time. So I just assumed, like, okay, we're going to get this guy's range into his left. He didn't get behind the ball, but somehow he reaches across his body and lets it, lets it fire, lets it loose, and he threw the ball right on the money. It was bang, bang play. Had to be a perfect throw. He made a perfect throw, and that really saved the game for him. So, I mean, I have nothing wrong with what Robbie did. I love to put pressure. Um, it just so happened that the left fielder passed the test that we put him through today. And you've had Robbie at second the past couple of games instead of his usual shortstop position. What do you have to say about his versatility? Oh, he's extremely versatile. He's a, a hands-down middle infielder guy. Um, he just needed to give his arm a rest. You know, we've been at short, been at short, been at short, been at short since, like, I believe, like, just before the Palm Springs Power game. So um, I just said, you know what, Robbie, go ahead and go to second so that you're not throwing your arm out, uh, knowing that we were going to send him back to short and stretch. So just giving him a couple of days. Um, I know we have Elijah coming back uh, tomorrow, which is a big pickup. Uh, so I think Robbie will probably be back at short. Um, Elijah will probably end up making his way back to third, moving Acuna back to second. Thank you. All right, Robbie, we're out here at Cerritos today. My first question for you is why do you wear number 12? Uh, I don't really know. It's just something I chose when I was a kid, carried it over. My dad's favorite number is 13, so I was like, something close to that. That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, nothing super special about it. Oh, okay. And uh, you're seeing a team today that you haven't seen all summer. How does your mindset adapt to that? Uh, not much. I mean, there's a first time for everything, so. You know, just treat like any other game and, uh, you know, prepare, prepare well and, yeah. All right, thank you.
So you were thrown out at home in the fourth inning, but then you came back in the top of the next inning and threw someone else out at home. Was that little revenge kind of in your head when you went to go make that? Throw? I was in my head. I just didn't want him to score. You know, I I wanted to pick up my pitcher there. He's dealing throughout the whole game, so I really wanted to come up and uh, gun that guy out. Felt good. Nice. And new guys like Zavala, who played today, have really been a part of the last two games. What do you think they're bringing? Uh, you know, they're just bringing energy and, uh, you know, a little little revamp of the uh, the energy. You know, we just need that, a little picking up here and there. But, yeah, those, those guys have been picking this up and uh, doing a really good job for us. And offensively, you did a lot to help your team win after an 11-game losing streak. How does it feel to win again? It feels great, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just good to get back out there and, and win a game. Uh, July's our month, I think. So uh, it's a good restart and refresh and, uh, you know, hit the reset button get back out there and start winning again. Nice, thank you. you moved guys around quite a bit, but now you made Robbie your almost everyday shortstop. What kind of team player is he? He's great. I mean, he, he he's the reason why he's kind of focusing this whole, you know, character counts episodes, him, Nolan, and, and Bryant, the strong character individuals. And there's a lot more, too. You know, Justin Broad, I just uh, told him today how proud I was for him being able to adapt to my coaching style. In the beginning, he, I, I was kind of tough on him, and it didn't really settle too well with him, but then he realized that I'm not as bad as I'm perceived to be. Um, if you just do what I ask you to do, we're good. So with Robbie, and and he got it from the get-go, and he enjoys it. He's a guy who sticks around. He's a guy to make sure, you know, I'm supposed to be the adult, but he makes sure that I get home safe. So uh, it's a really cool guy there, man, and, and he's automatic there. He's automatic. Made a good play from the outfield, and I don't know if you can hear me on the live stream. I'm like, oh, he's out. Trevor Lucas gets the ball from center. He throw Once I saw Robbie's footwork, I was like, oh, he's out. Just catch the ball, he's out. Sure enough, knocked the guy down at home and kept the shutout alive. And more importantly, it was a 1-0 ball game at that time. So that was big for us. Um, you know, he's made great plays that short. Got a couple knocks today. So he, he's always been a consistent guy there. And uh, I've known that he was going to be our shortstop once he earned his way up there. He was on the bench. And from the bench, he didn't say anything, didn't complain, just competed. And then a guy like that, like they say, cream rises to the top. And he's definitely cream, and he's going to settle at the top. And he turned multiple double plays today. How reassuring is that for you after you make him your starting shortstop? Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. I mean, again, you know, we turned six or seven DPs. Rob turned a couple. Uh, Fundy had a great job over there at second and whipping it over there. Um, you know, Acuna over there at third base, he was able to whip it hard like Rick Ross as well. So he showed a lot of leather today, and, and I loved it. I loved it, especially when our defense wasn't playing well. But, again, it's July 1st. It's a new month. It's a new team, a new summer. And we got a shot, so you know we're just looking to continue to roll. July is starting off well for you, and you also had Robbie doing some pretty aggressive base running. What was your motivation for that? Oh, we 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 always base run. We always base run. That's our thing. That's our mo. I love being aggressive and putting pressure on the defense. Um, sometimes people call it reckless, but I mean, you know, I kind of look at things in a different kind of scope. You know, uh, baseball is a very passive aggressive game, and I'm not a passive aggressive person. And I'm kind of directing in your face, and that's how we like to do it. And you know, we're gonna run. Um, and you stop us, then we're going to have a tough time winning ball games. If you can't stop us, you're going to have a tough time beating us. And today, we were able to run and run, and we were able to hit behind the runner and, you know, have great at-bats and, you know, pitch well, defensive well. So it was really a great, great, great exhibition on here. All right, thank you. Thank you.